Hi Geographers, welcome to your instructional video on how to create a population pyramid. Uh, you can see in this part two research question here, uh, you need to use the link below uh, to answer the questions in the table here. So your first job you have to do is how many people live in your suburb? You are to construct a population pyramid and analyze the diagram to assist you with the task requirements. Now, you see you've got a link uh, here uh, in your assignment that will take you to uh, this page uh, for the census data for the year of 2016 and you're going to use that to help you create a population pyramid using the software called Vizlo. Now I put the links uh, to these two websites in the description of this video as well for you to watch and access. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to register uh, and make an account. I'm going to use my Microsoft account, my school account. So you guys will have to do the exact same. Uh, this is a very important part of your assignment, so make sure you watch this video a couple of times as well. I'm gonna use my school account to make my Vizlo account so I can make a population pyramid. I'm gonna click on accept. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to click on complete registration. I don't need any email updates. All right, and now I have a Vizlo account. So the next thing I want to do is press on create. Now I want to create a population pyramid. All right, so you can see I've got a couple here. I'm just going to choose this one. And I'm going to press on create now. It's going to open up a new tab for me. Okay, now it'll give me some instructions on all the different things I can do, but I'm going to get out of those now. What we have to do is we have to input the data for our suburb that you're doing for your assignment. So for my assignment, I'm going to do Paddington. So Paddington, Queensland. I'm going to put that in there. And now I'm going to click on uh, View Community Profile for Paddington. That link there. Now, I don't want the quick stats. I want to download the general community profile. I'm going to go ahead and open this file in my download, and I'm going to open this Excel spreadsheet. Fantastic. Now, this uh, file contains a lot of data uh, that I'll need to access, but uh, you click on list of tables, and then you want to click on uh, age by sex. And it'll give you the data you need to put in for your population pyramid, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and get out of my seating plan so I can see my Excel spreadsheet there to make life a bit easier for myself. So I'm going to start by inputting the data into my population pyramid. So for my males, aged between 0 to 4, I've got 265. So that's the first thing I'm going to put in. Here, I'm going to click on this line here. You can see uh, label is 0 to 4, that's what I want. Males, it's got a million in there at the moment, but then I'm just going to put 265. 265. And then for females, I'm going to backspace that million, and I'm going to put 213. I can even copy and paste these as well as I go. Okay, now. See how that's disappeared? Don't be worried yet because it's on 600,000 at the moment. Don't be concerned yet. Um, it will even out as we go, and I'll show you that. So now we've got ages 5 to 9. My males is 226. Go ahead and put that in there. And then my females, age between 5 to 9 in Paddington, the suburb I'm doing, is 259. Fantastic. Now I can move on to the third one. Is 10 to 14. I'm just going to go back. 197 for males. And then females. I'm going to backspace. And it's 200. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that one. Fantastic. Next one. 15 to 19. You guys are probably getting the picture now, but I'm still going to do it anyway just so we're all nice and clear on what we have to do on how to make a population pyramid. And then I'm going to go females, 15 and 19 is 221. 
Just using Control C and Control V as well, guys. I'm going to backspace that. Now I'm on 20 to 24. There's 455 males in this age group, and females, there's 482. Fantastic. Next one, you can see it's so small here because now see how this number's decreasing? Okay, so now I need to go 25 to 29. So I've got 499 males. And how many females do I have? 520. I'm just going to type that one. All right, now. 30 to 34, so now I'm going to have to, this is important, so see I've run out of room here, I'm going to have to go up and go over here, 30 to 34, males is 402, and then I'm going to do females, 384, put that in there, see again this number is getting smaller, our population pyramid is going to come together. So now I'm going to do 35 to 39. 333 males are in this age group. How many females are there? 360. And I'm going to put that data in there. Next one, 40 to 44. I'm going to go ahead, 301 for my males, because that's the total males I have, females. It's going to be 362. So I'm just reading this data really closely. Okay, guys, the next one. Just going to get rid of them to start off with. Oh, they're going to come back. So 45 to 49, so I've got to go down and find my total of everyone aged between 45 and 49. It's 295. Put that in there for males. And then the females in this age group are 283. So you're probably getting the picture by now, but I still want to show you to make sure it's all nice and clear. 50 to 54 is 238 for males. That's how many males are in this age group in my suburb of Paddington. And then lastly, 258 for females in that age group. The next one, 55 to 59. I'm going to scroll down, here it is here, 217 for the males, and then what are we for the females? 232. So you can see now our numbers are changing, this is good. Alright, so I've got to find 60 to 64, so I'm going to go back up to here, here it is here, 192 for males. And then females will be 176. Next one is 65 to 69, so I'm going to go down to here. The total males is 150. And then our total females is 155. Fantastic. Next one, 70 to 74. Here it is here, our males are 83, so not many in this one. And then our females are 100, exactly. Fantastic, now 75 to 79, so now we're getting a bit older. 52 for males. And then 55 for females. Fantastic. Next one, 80 to 84. You can see there's 33 males. And then there are 56 females in the suburb of Paddington in this age group. Next one, 85 to 89 is 20 for males. And then the females is 42. So now you can see our population pyramid is really coming together. Next one, 90 to 94. Scroll down. 
Here we are, 90 to 94, there's 9. And then for females, there is 17. Sorry, that's 19. Jeez. 19. Right now, 95 plus. Here we go. So, over 95, there's three in total. There's three males. Let's just go three. And then females, there's seven. Fantastic. So now, our population pyramid is done. This population pyramid is really interesting because you can see um, the most amount of people that live in Paddington are in my age group, actually, 25 to 29. And so I live in Paddington. I'm part of that. I'm part of the male side of that. Uh, you can see there's not as many young people. You can see there is quite a, a large group of people from the ages of 39 up until about 60 as well. So that might, that might be a reason why there's not as many young people. So quite a lot of people in the age bracket between 20 to, say, 40. Uh, is probably the, the largest of the amount of people that live uh, in Paddington. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to get rid of my title because I want to put everything down in my footnote here. So what I'm going to do is uh, type in population pyramid of Paddington. And I'm actually going to call that um, figure one. Population Pyramid of Paddington, then I'm just going to go under that source and then I am just going to put in uh, the link where I got this information from. You need to always acknowledge your sources in geography and so you need to copy that link and paste it in here. Now top tip for geography as well, uh, make sure your bottom for your source is always in 9 and your top uh, figure the heading of your figure is in 11 as well, okay? It's very important. So make sure you've got that there. So now I've got a population pyramid of Paddington, the suburb I've chosen. You guys will probably have a different suburb, so make sure you search the right one uh, like I explained. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you to do is how to put this into your assignment. So what I'm going to do is click on Export and Share now that I've finished. And I'm going to click on Download PNG. And now I've downloaded that file there. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back into my assignment. Now I'm not going to fit it in here, okay? So I'm just going to go down and I'm going to make a space for my population pyramid. I'm just going to go into the middle and I'm going to go insert pictures from this device. I'm going to scroll up to my downloads and I'm going to download that image I just downloaded just then and it's going to be inserted in there for me. And it's going to have a title as well. Fantastic, and that's how you put it in your Word document, guys. So that is how you make a population pyramid to help you answer question one of your assignment. This video is good as well to go over if you need help making a population pyramid. Remember, I'm going to put the link uh, for Vislo and then the general census data um, page into the description of this video. You'll also have access to these links as well. Um, but make sure you enter your correct suburb. Let's say I want to do Milton now, very close to Paddington. Make sure you go on the advanced data. And then you go search by region. So I'll go Milton again. Fantastic. See Paddington Milton. It's gone there. Now you go view community profile. And then you want to download that data as well. Okay. Fantastic, guys. I hope this video has really helped you. Good luck making your population pyramids to help you answer this question of the assignment. You might want to give a little heading as well there saying answer for question one. And then you can use this population pyramid to help you answer all these other questions as well. Just make sure you search uh, your right suburb. Make sure you download uh, the Excel file that goes with it. Make sure you click on list of tables to start off with and then age by sex and it will come up with the data you need. So you've got males, make sure you get the totals as well and females. Thanks guys. Before I go, I actually uh, forgot something else I wanted to show you guys. So uh, one thing you need to do is have the individual values for each of your uh, male and female populations for each age group. So what you do is you just scroll down and you press on Axis, and you need to click on Individual Values. I forgot to do that in my last one. So now you can see how many of each gender there are for each age group. And now I'm going to press on Export and Share. 
And now I'm going to press on download. It's going to download that image for me. And then I need to put that back in my assignment. So I just needed to have those values in there. I forgot to have it in my one from before. So I'm going to go up to downloads. Download that image there. Fantastic. That's much better. Thanks, guys. Just make sure you have those individual values on there.